Here's the fantasy relevant news you need to know from training camps on August 19th. First up, let's get the bad news out of the way. Let's touch on injuries. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles seem to be picking up where they left off last year in terms of injuries just ravaging that roster. Uh, luckily, the main guy, Miles Sanders, he's week to week with a lower body injury. But that is being reported as just the Eagles being cautious. It's nothing to worry about that he will be ready for week one. Uh, Dallas Goddard and Boston Scott are both day-to-day -day with upper and lower body injuries, respectively, and there is still no timetable for return for Alshon Jeffrey. Devontae Adams gave us a bit of a scare whenever it was reported that he came up limping off of a deep ball attempt from Aaron Rodgers, which was picked off by Adrian Amos. Uh, he left practice briefly, but he was able to return, had his helmet, so it doesn't seem like that is going to be uh, a big injury. Denzel Mims still dealing with a hamstring injury. He's still sidelined. T. Higgins, I believe, at, was as well, and I'm going to assume that that was also A.J. Green, although I've not seen anything on that. DeAndre Hopkins finally returned for the Cardinals, so he is back in the lineup and back in practicing after he missed time with a hamstring injury of his own. Hype! Rams rookie wide receiver Van Jefferson continues to get praise, and his drumbeat continues to grow. Now getting praise from both Jared Goff and Sean McVay. O.J. Howard is looking, quote, really, really good per Bruce Arians. He has a grasp on the offense this year and just looks like a, looks like a different player. He's confident and better prepared. Another Bucks note, wide receiver Scotty Miller is apparently building a legit connection with um, Brady. So look at him as a, as a deep dynasty stash if your waivers are open at this time of year. As much as Kev and I have been trying to throw shade on Ronald Jones, he's getting consistent praise from Arians. Today he was talking about his pass protection, and that's something that Arians just noted the other day. If you're bad at pass protection, you're not going to be getting on the field. So with Keyshawn Vaughn not practicing because of the COVID stuff, he's behind LaShawn McCoy. I mean, he's he, he's dust. Well, I'm just going to say it. He's dust. It looks like Rojo is going to be the guy, so he's moving up in Kevin I's rankings, and he was obviously already there for, for Robbie. Dwayne Haskins is looking more comfortable moving in the pocket. It looks like he is getting a better grasp on the, on the offense, and his connection with Terry McLaurin is evident. Steve Sims is set to be the slot receiver, and the... <laughs> The, the second outside receiver is Dontrell Inman. And no, you did not just go back in time to 2016. This is 2020, and that is actually happening. Antonio Gibson got a bunch of touches with the ones today, the most that he's had throughout training camp so far. But it is apparently Bryce Love who took the majority of the work with Adrian Peterson sidelined. Another running back to note, uh, Cardinals running back situation. It is Chase Edmonds as the clear RB2. Cliff Kingsbury even made a note that he thinks that he is actually a starting running back in this league. And there was also a note in an article which mentioned that they might not have even traded for Kenyon Drake had Chase Edmonds not gone down with an injury of his own. Ty Montgomery got run with the once today with the Saints. Afterward, head coach Sean Payton noted his versatility and how he was able to use him and how fluid he looked. So I like Ty Montgomery as a, as a stash here. And if Kamara goes down for whatever reason, misses, misses any stretch of time, I think Ty Montgomery is going to be the guy to own and not Latavius Murray. One last running back note, Seahawks rookie DJ Dallas has been getting some, been getting some buzz over the past couple of days. Uh, Joe Fan, who covers the Seahawks, noted that he is a rookie to watch. Might be surprising some guys. He might have a third down role, and he believes that he even may push Carlos Hyde for touches. So if you still have a couple of rookie drafts left, maybe you look at snagging DJ Dallas in the third or fourth round. Last piece of hype news, Sam Darnold has been building a chemistry early on with Prashad Perriman. Made a nice play today during practice, turned a uh, turn a catch into a 70-yard touchdown, and Chris Herndon continues to make plays. I've been beating that drum for a while, and I love him as a late-round tight end. Two last things to note to put a bow on this episode. Vikings and running back Dalvin Cook have halted contract talks. Doesn't really seem like there's going to be anything more going on there. The Vikings have kind of put out their final offer, and that's what it's going to be. They don't really seem to want to continue these negotiations throughout the 
throughout the season. I if if you thought there was a chance that Darius Geis might come back with with a different team, I think he's just going to be flat out done in the NFL at the age of twenty three. There was a there was a news piece that came out that there were apparently two rape allegations against Darius Geis at his time at LSU, and then a reporter came out and said that she was threatened by Darius Geis whenever she made a trip to LSU to to do a report on one of the games. So. If you were holding out hope for Darius Geis or you think you thought you were going to be sneaky and get him on the cheap in your dynasty leagues, I I wouldn't waste even a fourth round pick on him because it looks like at this point he is done. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the news for Wednesday, August 19th. Make sure you are subscribed to whatever platform, podcast platform you're listening to. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're not yet subscribed, please do so. And make sure you are following us on Twitter at FF underscore authority so you can get all this news as we're going to be putting out updates throughout the day. And then the, uh, the final thread at the end of the night. Talk to you guys soon.